Okay, fight fans, fight fiends, welcome back to Manny's Thoughts. I, of course, Manny MTL or Manny Montreal. Make sure to check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and obviously, thefightcity.com. As usual, I'll give you guys my thoughts on what's going down in the world of combat sports. Let's get started. <laughs> Congratulations are due. Fondation Gisle Manny Maduma threw down a beautiful boxing gala at Baymetsur this Saturday night. And what a success. Terrific show, terrific crowd, terrific card. Just all around great show. Um, honestly, they put a lot of hard work into it. And uh, bonus, all the money raised went to a good cause. They gave something like 14 kids uh, scholarships to go to school. Just fantastic stuff. Honestly, uh, you could not have asked for a better night in Montreal on a Saturday night. Now, um, of course, it's boxing, so it's not always all good news. Uh, sad to report that young Batir's debut was now met with a no contest. Uh, it seems he blew out his knee at some point. Dude laid down on top of him, kind of gave him a little shove. And the way he fell, it was just awkward. Blew out his knee. He kept trying to go, but I mean... The ref had to stop it at a certain point. Uh, his trainer was going to throw in the towel. Honestly, uh, the, the kids got heart for days because I know about blowing out your knees. It's happened to me. And uh, the idea that he tried to continue is uh, very interesting to me. Um, kids definitely got heart. It's a sad uh, turn of events. However, everything happens for a reason in my world. So hopefully when he's ready, he'll be back healthy and strong and uh, making his real debut soon. Now, as far as the good news goes, the headliner for the event, Shaquille Finn, won in tremendous fashion. A uh, beautiful TKO win, three knockdowns, gets him going home. Just a fantastic, fantastic night of fights, but Shaquille's fight was the cherry on top. The crowd was really into it. It was a pro Shaquille crowd, and uh, honestly, it was just a fantastic night of fights. I want to thank everyone involved on in that event. It was super fun. I'm looking forward to them doing another one. So that leads me to what's going down on the Fight City this week. And obviously, as usual, we got plenty going down. Fresh articles and posts on the daily for you guys to check out. This week, we're going to do a special look at the Thriller in Manila. Um, we're going to have several other articles that you guys definitely need to check out. On Wednesday, I'll be going to the last press conference here in Montreal for David Lemure. So it's a public workout. I'm going to be checking that out. So make sure you check out the Fight City and the Fight City's Facebook page for pictures and obviously uh, great articles as usual. Uh, so now that leads me to what's going down in the Fight City this week. Now, obviously, as usual, there's a fight going down. Amateur Gala going down at 4375 Ontario Street. It's Club de Bucks de l'Est. They throw on fantastic amateur cards. Make sure you go check them out and support. The tickets are cheap and you get a fantastic night of fights. Just great stuff all the way around. Make sure you go support them. 4375 Ontario Street this Saturday night. Hit them up on Facebook. Maybe there's still some tickets left. Club de Bucks de l'Est. Okay, so that leads me to what's going on this week and what we can watch as fight fans. So, first off, right in the middle of the week, starting off Tuesday night, PBC on Fox Sports 1 at 7 p.m. Then on Friday, we've got Bellator 143 at 7 p.m. Make sure you check it out. It's the other white meat of MMA. But uh, they've just recently signed some big names, Fedor. So make sure you guys check it out. Friday night on Spike. Also on the Fight Network on Friday night, Hard Knocks 45 is going down. That's going to be live and free at 7 p.m. Uh, Saturday, we've got PBC on NBC. Straight from Birmingham, Alabama, the heavyweight champion of the world, Deontay Wilder versus Duhapas. I have no idea who Duhapas is. It sounds like a really cool ethnic food, but uh, it seems to be Deontay's opponent. Um... I was kind of hoping that once he got the belt, he was just going to go after everybody, you know, and prove his worth. But uh, I guess we'll call it a tune-up fight while we wait for Klitschko and Fury to go down. 
I digress. Uh, that leads me to Sunday. Love it when there's fights on Sunday. It's the best part of the week. You're in your PJs, you're barely waking up, and there's stuff on TV. Well, 7 a.m. on the Fight Network. If you're down, you've got one championship fighting. It's straight from Asia somewhere, so that's why 7 a.m. on the Fight Network. Also on Fight Pass from Japan. We've got UFC this week. They're back. Now, uh, it's going to be on Fox Sports 1 for the prelims and then obviously the main event. You guys are out of luck, but uh, make sure you go and try and look for it. It's going to be at 7 a.m. on Sunday morning. There's a strong chance my DVR will be working and I will be sleeping and then I'll just catch it a little later. But uh, make sure you guys check out Cajun Johnson's going to be on the card. Uriah Hall versus Gegard Mousasi. That's going to be a really, really good fight. And Josh Barnett versus uh, Big Country Nelson. Just a actually fantastic card. It sucks that it's going down at 7 a.m. on a Sunday. But it is what it is. It's uh, going to be happening live from Japan. So make sure you try and check that out. If not, check in with me. I'm more than likely going to be watching it. So that's it for me this week. Make sure you check out my other shows. Check out my posts. Check me out on Twitter and Facebook. Hit up thefightcity.com. If there's any questions, if you guys have any suggestions, go ahead and hit us up. I'll see you guys next week. Like, share, and subscribe.